What's up, guys? What's going on? I'm Paul. This is Polish Theology, man. We are continuing our study on Ephesians. We just started, and so you are not very far behind. We already did one and two, that's all. And you can check that out on the earlier podcast if you want to join us from the very beginning. But we're on Ephesians 1, 3 through 6, and we are studying now uh, the Godhead. 1 through 14 um, is, is going to be a, a beautiful blessing, a, uh, what they call a, a, bara, a baraka, I'm sorry, a baraka, a blessing or a praise to the the god of the universe and when paul does this in this and that's one sentence so it's it's pretty crazy but it's such a beautiful beautiful eulogy or a blessing or a praise to who god is and in it he goes through the the, the godhead through god the father the son and the holy spirit and expresses a little bit about what they do in uh, the lives of believers as we are called to him and it is going to be so great to go through it with you guys and today we're doing the father uh, verses uh, three through six in chapter one of ephesians so if you haven't read it yet go ahead stop the tape check it out read see what it has to say then we'll come back and we'll discuss the the four questions uh, if you have let's go ahead and jump into it the first question is um what is the scripture actually saying? So uh, let's go ahead and read it. It says, uh, Blessed be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who blesses us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ, uh, just as he's called us to himself, or just as he called him in him before the foundations of the earth to be blameless and holy before him. In love, he predestined us into adoption through Jesus Christ, in him uh, according to the good pleasure of his will to the praise of his glorious grace which he graced us with in the beloved Whew. man that's just some powerful powerful stuff so what is it saying what is it actually saying well it says that god has blessed us man he has blessed us he has blessed us. And so we should praise him for that. We should bless him for that. He said, blessed be to God. But he has blessed us with uh, with all blessings, with every blessing that we can have in the spiritual places. So I think it's important for us to realize that it's uh, not exclusive of earthly things. But Paul wants us to recognize that despite the struggles, the the, the turmoil, the problems, the, the bad things that could be occurring in this physical world on earth, that God has blessed us with everything in the spiritual places so that we have something that we can look forward to. We have a hope that we can find despite our circumstances. And so that's why it's everything in the spiritual uh, places. And we're going to see what those, those blessings are here soon. It says, first off, that he chose us or elected us. Woo! That means he has picked us, man. That's a that's a beautiful and wonderful thing. God, the one who chooses, the one who calls us out, despite all the things that we've done. He says, because this is before the foundations of the world. Okay, so before Paul uh, here at Trust in Jesus Ministries, before I had done anything, he said, I'm going to make you a part of my family. And that's so important because of the fact that I have done some horrible things in my life. And those horrible things were even after I'd come to a knowledge of him. Yet he still would desire for me to be with him. See, that's what makes this 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 chosenness, this this uh, uh, election so power, so powerful. Excuse me, is because he did it despite knowing all of the things that I would do. That that that's beyond um, compare, but. He did it for a specific reason. He says he does it in love. Like this wasn't uh, some kind of arbitrary or uh, random thing. He did it because he loves me. He did it because he loves you. He did it because he loves his people who he's calling to himself. In love, he did this. He brought us into his family. It says that we were adopted as sons and daughters 
And this happened through a means. It happened in Christ. And we'll talk about the in Christ in the, the next uh, episode. But what does this have to say about God then? Well, first off, it says that God is the Father. He is the Father of Christ, as we saw earlier, eternal Father. But he is also our Father if we believe, if we trust in Christ. He says he adopts us as sons. He's chosen us to be adopted into his family so that he might be the father of us as well. So if you're fatherless right now, or if you've had a bad father, any way that you don't know oh, how a good father, in a way you know what a good father is supposed to be like because you've seen the worst of a bad father or an absent father. But God is the true father, the one who loves us and cares for us and gives us and blesses us with good things. If you uh, remember going through James with us, and if you haven't, you can check out the podcast, but we talked about how he is a good gift giver. Everything that is good comes down from the father of lights. He is a good gift giver. And so God is a good father. He's also a blesser. He says he's blessed us with everything in the spiritual uh, places, in the heavenly places. And the heavenly places means spiritual realm, not necessarily like um, in heaven, because we talk a lot about in the future in this book, the spiritual mm-hmm. realm and the power. We, we talked last episode about Artemis and the gods and how they have like these spiritual beings that take power over a lot of the people. They scare them and fear them. And so what uh, Paul is trying to express is the fact that God is in control of the spiritual places, but he blesses us in the place that they think it seems so scary and so hazardous and so dangerous. God has blessed us in that realm, in that place. But he's also a chooser, man. He would choose us. He would choose us despite the things that we've done. And he is a lover. Man, he cares so much for us because he does this in love. It's not random or arbitrary. It is because he loves us that he does this. And he did it before the foundation of the world. And so that means he's sovereign. That means he is controlling and moving all things to work to his will so that he might have us. And it's for a good pleasure. It says that he's a God that does things for us because it pleases him it pleases him man what what a wonderful god what a wonderful god what does it say about man well i think this part right here says is that we are loved man you've got to you've got to just recognize that see that we are loved tremendously that god cares for us Absolutely. And in the next episode, we'll see how he demonstrated this love. And we've read it before in John. If you've gone through our John podcast, it says that he demonstrated this love for us, that he gave his son. And so he loves us. Therefore, we are loved. We're also a part of a family, man. It says he's called us to adoption. When we were children of uh, of uh, wrath it's going to say later on children of wrath that means that our father was satan he took us from that family and he brought us into his own family man i know uh, a picture in our modern world is to see uh, kids who are hurting and broken homes loving families take them out of those homes so they can see those kids be successful in life That's a a big thing, a big issue that's going on is that we need to have homes and families that will take care of kids who are in broken places. That's what God the Father has done for us. He has made us a part of his family. So we are a part of his family. We are blessed. Man, God has, has blessed us. It's so amazing to realize that we have this grace which he pours out upon us, man. And for that, we should praise him. And so the application today is that, man, maybe we should be praising God, right? Maybe in everything that we do, we should just lift him up because we could remember the grace that he has given us, the life that he has bestowed upon us, that he has chosen us to be a part of his family. 
man, that is that is powerful stuff. That is powerful stuff. I could go on for days about that, man. I could live off that juice forever. And so I hope that you feel the the implications of the love, the chosenness, the grace that he has bestowed upon us so that you can bless God, our Father. I'll see you guys in the next episode.